So this question starts off with some information prior to the question itself. That information says a state representative wants to increase the amount of driving practice time required before a student can earn a driver's license. The representative surveyed a random sample, so it's always good to know that it's random, which means usually on the SAT it means it's trustworthy, sample of 50 from the 250 students taking the driver's education class at Jefferson High School, right? So this is where these students have come from. They are students who are taking driver's ed at Jefferson High School. The survey reported that 62% of students taking the class agree that driving practice time should be increased with an associated margin of error of 5%. So 62% basically plus or minus 5% to take account for the margin of error. Question 20 says, which of the following populations can the results of the survey at Jefferson High School be extended to? Okay, so let's not forget the whole design of this survey was that the students were from a, not even just from Jefferson High School, they're from a specific class of students at Jefferson High School, right? And we only took 50 of those 250 from that class. So choice A says students at any U.S. high school. So I would say no to that. I think it's unlikely to assume that the results of a survey at one high school would would you know be true for students at any high school. So A is gone. Choice B, students taking a driver's education class at any U.S. high school. Well, that's a little bit closer. At least these are other students who are interested in taking driver's ed. But again, the fact that it's at any U.S. high school, I think is a bit a bit of a reach to think that the students at Jefferson understand or think like all other students at any U.S. high school. Choice C, students at Jefferson High School. Um, closer, right, because now we're focusing only on Jefferson High School, but again, these are students who are taking a specific class, right? So students who are of the same age and may not have wanted to take that class may have different thoughts about it. So choice C is gone as well. Choice D, students taking a driver's education class at Jefferson High School. Well, definitely that's true, right? Because, you know, if this was a truly random sample, then we should be able to trust the numbers that we receive from the survey to be reflective of at least the population from which the sample was taken. And the population from which the sample was taken were the 250 students taking the driver's education class at Jefferson High School. So choice D would be the correct answer here.